I'm Andrew Parker, I'm the QC Receipt Supervisor. When the material arrives on site, it's commercially received. And then all the QL1, 2, and commercial grade, which is signified by a C, is turned over to inspection by QC Receipt. So if a material that comes from a vendor with no source inspection, uh, QC Receipt is responsible for the entire inspection. That entails a physical inspection, you know, reviewing uh, markings, dimensions, look for damage, things of that nature, just a complete physical inspection. And then it also requires a review of 100% of the documentation. So the documentation, it can be as little as one page or it can be up to, uh, some receipts have been over 20,000 pages. The material that is shop inspected, we have inspectors based at the vendor facility. Um, they kick off the inspection there, uh, perform to their inspection plan and their procedures. And then when the material arrives on site, uh, we pick up where they left off. Yeah. Or when we perform a receipt, um, several outcomes. Uh, one, everything is good. Uh, we accept the material, apply a green tag. Then the material is put in the inventory in the warehouse and it's available for issue to construction or the PAF floor. Another thing we have, there's our slight documentation errors, things of that nature that can easily be reworked. We have an unsat report. There's things that can't easily be reworked through documentation. If there's a physical non-conformance, um, we will issue a non-conformance report and close our receipt inspection report out to that NCR. The material and its fate is then determined by the resolution of the NCR by engineering and or the STR. So per the requirements, NK1 receipt is an important element to assure that the, the facility gets licensed at the conclusion of construction.